Well, it's my pleasure to take a few minutes of your time so that we can acknowledge our colleagues who have uh, attained significant accomplishment over the last few years and to uh, um, really give you some idea as to the depth and the breadth with which uh, the um, ISQA International Accreditation Program is reaching across the country. Um, there we go. Oops, I don't want that. Um, with the head slide, just to introduce what we are about. Um, as Jose mentioned, I'm Wendy Nicklin, the chair of the Accreditation Council for ISQA. And we actually have three accreditation programs. And we accredit the accreditors. We accredit the accreditation organizations, the external evaluation organizations. The three programs are for the organizations themselves, for the standards, and then for their training program, if they have a survey or evaluators training program. So you will see those three categories of awards which will be rendered during this particular presentation. And we're also pleased to announce that the fourth edition standards for the external evaluation organizations were launched in July. And the fourth edition principles for the standards, health and social service care standards, were launched this past September. So we're pleased about that progress that's been made and uh, will help move the program forward. My intention is to briefly introduce the organization. Um, hold your applause till the very end if you would. And if there's any representatives from the uh, organization in the audience in the, as an attendee, if you would please stand up to at least be acknowledged knowing that at the end we will have the applause. So the first organization is AABB, which is a blood bank organization in the United States an international not-for-profit association representing individuals and institutions involved in the field of transfusion medicine and cellular therapies. The AABB organization was re-accredited in January 2013, the organization, and their surveyor training program re-accredited in May of this year for a second time. Is there anyone here from AABB? We don't have anyone noted, but... Um anyone arrived? No. Secondly, Aged Care. Aged Care Standards and Accreditation Agency Limited. We definitely know we have colleagues here from that organization in Australia. Department of Health and Aging was appointed by the company as the sole accreditation body for long-term care homes for the aged. In September 2013, ACSAA received ISQA accreditation of their organization for the second time. And I believe Mark Brandon and Elizabeth Pringle are here, if you would stand up. Congratulations. Mark has been a very active member of our accreditation council and we're pleased to have Elizabeth on board at this time. And next we have the Australian General Practice Accreditation Limited, fond, more fondly known as AGPAL, a leading provider of accreditation and related quality improvement services to general practices. Uh, this organization has recently gone through some merging and uh, enlarging of their mandate, and in October 2013, AGPAL has received ISQA accreditation of their organization for the third time. So we're really pleased to see, I believe uh, Steve is here. Um, where are you? Steve, Steve and Gary, Steve Clark and Gary Smith are with us. Congratulations. They've accomplished quite a major feat in the last year. And well done. The Canadian Accreditation Council, with over 30 years of experience, the CAC has grown from an Alberta based nonprofit organization to serving the entire country of Canada in a broad range of human service programs and committed to their continuing growth. CAC was accredited as the organization by ISQA in July 2013. And I don't believe we have an attendee from CAC. You can see when you look at the logo that is actually beside the name, at the bottom of the logo it says organization. If they receive training, it says training. Quite simple, but it does designate the different program for which the award has been provided. So CHKS, uh, many of us are very aware of uh, CHKS as a provider of healthcare intelligence 
and Quality Improvement Services for 24 years, and they've worked in 374 healthcare organizations worldwide. They've pioneered the UK's healthcare intelligence market, provide accreditation services in the UK and across Europe. In February 2013, their organization was accredited for the second time. And then in May of 2013, their accreditation program for addiction treatment centers and psychological rehabilitation second edition were accredited. And I believe Carlos, Carlos, are you here? Perhaps Moira and Anne. There you are. Congratulations. <laughs> Moving on to the Center for Healthcare Planning and Quality established in Dubai, at Dubai Healthcare City. The CPQ Outpatient City Quality Standards Second Edition were accredited uh, for this organization in May 2013, and I'm not sure if we have any attendees from this organization. No. Okay, from New Zealand. The DAA Group is one of New Zealand's leading providers of quality and risk management auditing services. In health and disability sector with some of the most experienced health auditors and audit managers in New Zealand working in their group. They are designated to provide audits to the health and disability sector standards and by ISQA to provide certification or accreditation to a range of other industry standards. The DAA group received a squad accreditation in December 2012. And I believe Kathy Cummings. Kathy, are you here? Oh, there you are. Congratulations. Yeah, it's good if you wave. DNV. Pardon my voice. DNV works with national health care authorities and health care providers around the world to effectively manage risk and improve health care delivery. There's a team of specialists in risk management, healthcare specialists with an innovative and advanced approach to healthcare providers globally. The DNV International Accreditation Standards for Hospitals, version three, were accredited in August 2013. Now I saw a few of you yesterday. Karen? Someone else? There's Karen. Congratulations. Global Mark. Global Mark is one of the leading conformity assessment bodies in Australia, accredited by the Joint Accreditation System of Australia and New Zealand. Global Mark was accredited by ISQA in June of this year. Is there anyone from Global Mark with us? No. Okay. Healthcare Accreditation Institute in Thailand. HAI was founded in 1993 to provide quality training to the healthcare sector in Thailand. Their first HAI standards were developed in 1996 and their first certificate issued in 1999. The goal for penetration in the public sector is 5% growth per year and they are on target. HAI Thailand was accredited by ISCO in September of this year, just last month. Anyone here from Thailand? Oh, congrats. Oh, good. Congratulations. Yeah, many members of the team. Now we're moving on to Jordan. The Healthcare Accreditation Council, fondly known as HCAC, is a private, not-for-profit company registered with the Jordan Ministry of Industry and Trade since 2007. In March 2013, the HCAC Diabetes Program Certification Standards, first edition, were accredited. In June of this year, their Cardiovascular Care Program Certification Standards were accredited, and their Surveyor Training Program was accredited in September 2013. And I believe we have several members of HCAC, Omaima Nasser and Ahmed Shatat. And I believe Selma had to leave. Oh. Congratulations. Excuse me for one minute. Health and Disability Auditing New Zealand is a nationwide dedicated health service auditing company 
comprised of specialist health professionals fully committed to building health quality and health care services. They adhere to principles that support improvement in health and disability services because they are committed to making a contribution to advancing quality in the sector. HDANZ received accreditation of their organization for the second time in June of this year. Is there anyone here representing this organization? I don't think so. Okay. Hong Kong Association of Gerontology a member of the International Association of Gerontology since 1989 and founded in 1986 by a group of professionals including geriatricians, nurses, social workers, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, clinical psychologists, and academics. The Residential Aged Care Accreditation Scheme, RACAS, was accredited in July of this year. Is there anyone here from the Hong Kong Association of Gerontology? Moving on to Icon Tech International. This is uh, located in Colombia. Icon Tech is a private, nonprofit organization since 1984, recognized by the Colombian government as the national standardization body and representative of the country to various international and regional standard organizations. Icon Tech received ISQA accreditation in December 2012. Is there anyone here from Icon Tech? No waves. Okay. ECOS. I know we have Karsten here. ECOS, the Danish Institute for Quality and Accreditation in Healthcare, develops, plans, and manages the Danish Healthcare Quality Program. The development of accreditation standards is carried out in collaboration with healthcare professionals across the country. It also manages the recruitment and training of the Danish Corps of Surveyors and acts as secretariat for the accreditation committee. The ECOS Community Pharmacy Standards were accredited in March of this year, and Karsten Engel is here, I believe. Karsten, congratulations. Oh, to your team. Joint Commission International, JCI. JCI accreditation is a variety of initiatives designed to respond to a growing demand around the world for standards based evaluation in healthcare. In December 2012, JCI's Long-Term Care Standards and Home Care Standards First Edition received accreditation. And I believe Paul, Paul and Claudia might be with us. Paul and Claudia, congratulations. Paula Wilson, their CEO, was with us, but uh, left yesterday, if I'm correct, or last night. HDANZ, is that the correct slide? One moment. Pardon me for a minute. Joint Japanese Council for Quality in Healthcare it was established in 1995. Their mission is to contribute to improve medical quality and safety, ensuring trustworthy medical care is a neutral and scientific party, and contribute to the health of people and improved welfare. I had the privilege of being at this organization about three weeks ago going through the accreditation of their organization, and it was an amazing experience in an organization for which uh, they are very proud. So in October, JCQHC received DISCO accreditation of their hospital accreditation standards. Organization will be, will be following, but those in attendance uh, from this organization, if you would stand up. Be acknowledged, Dr. Kawakita, their CEO, is here, as well as Dr. America. Congratulations. Republican Center for Health Development, Ministry of Health, Republic of Kazakhstan, um, RCHD. Leading center in the country for evidence-based analysis, development, and introduction of innovative technologies. In February 2013, the RCHD Polyclinic Standards were accredited, and in August, the RCHD Surveyor Training Program received accreditation. Uh, is anyone from that organization with us? Oh, there you are. Congratulations. <laughs> Netherlands. The Netherlands Institute for Accreditation in Healthcare, known as NIAS, 
offers a contribution to the assurance and improvement of the quality of health care, in particular by developing quality standards and by using them in the external evaluation of health care institutions and health care services. I'm pleased to announce that NIAS received ISQA accreditation for the second time in February of 2013, and their CEO, Case Van Dun, I believe, is with us today. Case? Congratulations. And ONA, based in Brazil. ONA is a non-governmental organization that aims to promote implementation of an ongoing process of evaluation and certification of the quality of health services. The Brazilian Accreditation Manual for Healthcare Services Provider Organizations, version 2014, was accredited in August of this year. Is there anyone here from ONA? I did, oh, congratulations. Trent, QHA Trent. QHA Trent is a fully independent, hands-on, tax-paying, holistic clinical accreditation scheme for hospitals, clinics, and other providers of health care. It is based in the UK and operates within the UK, the EU, and internationally, helps establish independently and impartially of individual hospitals, clinics, and other providers. The HQ QHA Trent Standards for Healthcare Providers were accredited in March 2013. Is there anyone here from QHA Trent? I don't think so. Okay, congratulations. Next, Safe Care. Safe Care aims to support basic health care providers in resource restricted settings to go through stepwise structured improvement programs. It was founded by the Joint Commission, Farm Access Foundation, and by COSASA in South Africa. So in January 2013, the Safe Care standards were accredited, and I think we may have Stuart Whitaker COSASA. Paul Van Astenberg is with us, and Claudia JCI to acknowledge. Congratulations. And that's the end. So congratulations to everyone who has uh, received these achievements. Thank you very much.